Well, today I am wondering what I'm going to do. Uh, this is an update video of Zero Shell Router. Uh, I don't know. I've got a lot of things to think about. Uh, a lot of dumb and useless things that are on this thing or not on this thing. Um, so ask yourself, you know, whether you want to continue. Uh, some things that I found out that were really kind of a major downfall to this zero shell router is, well, let me just make a list. Uh, rip. That's a big bust. And what rip is, and what it means is that it's router information protocol. And if you're asking, what does that do? Basically what it does is that it translates one router to another router so that you can interconnect uh, two routers and two networks and different things and IP addresses and make things look like that they're ex exactly on the same network when they're not. So, the other thing I'm feeling right now is who owns this thing anyways? Uh, I've got some personal feelings about this zero shell and how it is written. Uh, for one, uh, I have been reading the Zero Shell's website, and it's just a basic setup. And come to find out, a lot of the stuff that I've been reading and looking at his photos shows me that it's not complete. Because when I've tested it, it's like there's nothing there. It doesn't work. And I don't know if you can see on my screen back here, uh, but there's a bunch of things that I've got trying to get going and what I'm trying to get going is the load balancing and it's not working and I've been on YouTube looking at another video and that's on my screen over here uh, about bonding now I don't know to you uh, folks that are watching this video uh, some of you are home users some of you are, you know, uh, people that work at a company or maybe own a company. I don't know if I would use this exactly, uh, this zero shell, because for another thing, the VPN, which is virtual private networking, it's a whole lot of setup. Now, I have used VPN, that means virtual private networking, uh, to other routers and it works just fine and I can get it set up now my, my feeling is is why use zero shell and not spend like one of the things I've looked at was an enterprise router it was about 1300 bucks and there was some other ones that were more money than that you know up to two thousand dollars and I'm like these would be easier to set up and they got documentation to go with it and they would have some support from uh, the company. Now, the other thing I'm not too happy about with Zero Shell and the author is that he threw me underneath the bus. I asked him in an email uh, about different things on my network, what I'm trying to accomplish with Zero Shell, and he just said, well, just go look it up on the forums and ask the question. You know what, folks? I've been to his forum, and the questions are already there, and they're not being answered. And if they are being answered, it's blah, 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 I can't understand it. You might as well speak Chinese to me because it's a bunch of technical mumbo-jumbo that I don't know what it means. I mean, yes, I'm advanced, and... I'm over most people's heads, but I try to keep things simple so that you understand what I'm talking about instead of wasting my time speaking nonsense that you don't understand. Well, and, and, and the thing is, even the author of Zero Shell doesn't know. Now, ask yourself, and this is what I've asked myself, it's like, and, and it's kind of the things I've been thinking, it's like, well, shouldn't he know? He's the one that supposedly wrote it. Uh, I don't know, folks. I'm starting to wonder if it's... Uh, now, I can't prove it, and this is my personal thoughts. 
on the, on the whole matter. But I'm feeling like it's a crack. Like it's stolen or something. I don't know. I can't prove it. I don't care. Because uh, there's other things that make me wonder about the, the operating system. For an example, uh, I've been taking documentation from here and there and reading other folks' uh, documentations. And I also read uh, a company uh, information. I, I don't remember what router it was that I was reading. But it exactly went with Zero Shell, although it was worded differently than the other uh, stuff I've read. So, I don't know. Uh, it almost seems like it's another company software with his name on it. And I've got nothing against the guy, but when I get thrown underneath the bus and he doesn't know. And just today, I've been looking at the VPN. And... I just looked at his pictures. I'm like, dude, you don't even have this thing working. And you're showing me how to set up the VPN? And you don't even know how it works? Because it said right on the dollar box, you know, connecting. Just like my screen back here. Uh, it just says connecting. And I need to set up some kind of a server, but it's kind of like useless. And that's another thing about this router. Uh... I've been looking at load balancing. I've been looking at, uh, um, what do they call that? Bonding, uh, internet bonding. It's more advanced than I really want to mess with. And I don't know if you want to either because you need to have two routers connected to make, and two zero shells connected to make this work. And I literally don't know if, it, if I can even actually get this to work. I've been watching the video, like I said, you know, over here uh, about how to make it work and I think I can but my question is why why do I want to do it through zero shell I've got a sixty dollar router down in the basement right now that's plugged in that does exactly what zero shell is supposed to do but it does it with one router and I know that there's other routers out there for different prices and they do the same exact thing and then some so, with the poor documentation, the unknowledgeable author, I'm kind of like, what, am I wasting my time? Am I just doing this for another video? I, I don't know. I, I don't think I am. I, and, and literally, you know, what happened was, when I had internet problems and I found that you know I had too many routers connected so I wanted to knock it down to a few you know maybe one router at least or two uh, and get rid of the uh, other ones that I have and I'm not saying I'm gonna throw them out but I just want to just get it down to a smaller configuration uh, I'm better off buying another router that does more uh, I, I don't need one that's uh, $1,300 at least. But I found another router that would work. And on top of that, with, with buying a router, you just plug it in and it works. Yes, there are some configurations. Like if you're going to do quality of service, that's QoS. Um, you want to do VPN tunneling. Uh, that's virtual private networking. You need to configure some things. Now... Back to Zero Shell. I just found out today, as I'm making this video, uh, there's a lot of things that are off in this router by default. And when people are saying, hey, I can't get this thing to work, well, there's a reason why it doesn't work, because the stupid thing's off. You gotta go in there and turn it on. And then you gotta configure it properly to uh, access the internet. It's a whole lot of monkeying around just to get it to work. So, I don't know. Uh, there's other things that, that I'm, I'm going to try to get running on it. And, you know, and I'm going to make some more videos. So, if you want to get this thing working, and that's what's going on, is basically when it takes me this long to make another video, it's because I'm working behind the scenes. I'm not just uh, drinking soda pop and watching a movie. Um... You know, it's taken me this long because the information I've been reading just stinks. 
And I've been piecing it together here and there, like I said. But I don't know. Um, I'm thinking about just setting up what I've got. Um, and then call it good. And just use a regular router to bring my internet in like I have now. And just feed it to the zero shell. I mean... Some of you don't even have that, all that stuff. I mean, I've got three lines, and there are probably some other folks that have, you know, more lines than, than just, you know, than just one DSL or, or cable. Uh, they might have a bunch of them. Now, there's a lot of useful things to this that I haven't tinkered with, but, you know, in the long run, my other thing is, you know, and I've had problems with, is like parts failing. And with a circuit board router, I don't have to worry about anything. I just set it on the table, plug my cables in, and let it go. And then it just communicates. With a zero shell, it's a computer, and if you got to repair it, there's other things that can go wrong with it that a normal router doesn't have problems with. Yes, they do die. And I've had them die, and I've had to replace them. But, you know, as far as, you know... A lot of failures with these things. I've had less failures with business routers than I've had with home routers. And I don't know. I, I, I'm just kind of questioning myself. Uh, even still now, it's just like, do I want to proceed? So ask yourself in the middle of this road, you know, what usefulness does Zero Shell have to offer you? And... I'm hoping to make more videos to help you further yourself along, but there are just some things I will not be able to get to go working because I don't know anything about it. If the directions were easy to understand, then yes, I would be able to get it to go. And I am one that does things better with a video. You know, I can get it running better if somebody says, hey, well, you just do this, 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 and then it works. But if they don't know what the heck they're doing, then it's useless. And the documentation I've been reading is either repeat or it's just totally wrong. And I've, I just, I'm really confused right now. I'm just kind of in, up in the air uh, wondering why. Uh, if, well, you know, there's a price to free. And I've said this before. And I guess the, um, Price to zero shell is crap directions. I mean, if you get right down to it, there's nothing there that really helps you. I mean, there's if you want to, if you got time and you want to read documentation after documentation, try to filter it out and organize it and test it. I mean, I, my snapshots back here on this screen that I've got, you know, actually saved on my computer are more helpful than what's on zero shell itself because you can't see what's going on. And it's just one of those documentations where he writes something and boom. Now what? What am I supposed to do next? Nothing. I mean, I guess he doesn't know either. If he was that brilliant, and that's what makes me question if it's really his. Because when I asked him uh, a question that he should have known, not one peep except for well, I wrote on the forms and asked the question. <laughs> That's not what I wanted, folks. I wanted to know what the heck he knew. And obviously he doesn't know anything. Because if he did, he would be able to help people. And there's things that I've seen on his form that make me question. It's like, well, how much does he know? Because that doesn't even help me. And when I try it, it doesn't work. So, obviously, his directions have not been tried and proven by him to make sure that it works for you when you look at his directions. It's just a half-assed job. Uh, just like everything that I've seen out there. Now, I'm just and I'm saying everything has been half-assed, but a lot of the stuff is. I could say that there's probably about 10% of the information on the World Wide Web is any good. And I'm going to uh, call it another something else. It's worldwide stupidity because the web is full of stupidness. Now, if you're watching this video, you're wanting to learn something about Zero Shell or something else. And that's what I'm here for. But 
A lot of the information I read is just flat out stupid and not tried. And it's just basically like companies today, whether you're in another country or in the U.S., uh, they don't try their stuff. They wait for the, the customer to try it for them. We're like the guinea pigs. We're saps. Just trying to, you know, I'm not saying that we're all saps, but, you know, we're just, we don't, we shouldn't have to know all this stuff. And if there's anything that, that good comes out of this research that I've been doing to help my, myself and you folks out, and you might think that's selfish by saying myself first, but that's why I started it, was because I wanted to know what Zero Shell had, Zero Shell had to offer, which is not an awful lot. I mean, there is, but then there isn't. The other thing, I don't know if I mentioned about it, but one of the problems I've been having is I've got bugs in the zero shell and what do I mean by that if you looked at my video about uh, zero shell loses its mind I talk about the update manager and losing my updates the other day I just saw something it's not gone I've got some bug in my computer from these updates although that zero shell says that there are no updates in it now, I went picking through Zero Shell and found where the updates were, but I can't get them out of the system. I've got to flush the system if I want to get rid of them. So why update? I mean, this thing almost looks and feels like a Windows system because Microsoft is always updating something and messing with it. And they don't try their updates either. They say, well, we're going to let the suckers that buy our equipment try it. <laughs> And so here we go. We try it. So that's basically what this zero shell is, is let the sucker try it. And if it doesn't work, well, then I'll have to go back and try something else. Uh, he doesn't know squat about the hardware. That certain things do not work on, you know, Pentium 4s or dual processors. Uh, he hasn't go literally gone through and proofed his work. Or his add-ons. And who who in the world makes his add-ons anyways? Does he do it? Or is it somebody else? That's my, my thoughts about this whole thing about Zero Shell is, you know, I've got to do more work to get it working. And like I said, maybe just buying a business router would be better off than getting one for free. And I'm not saying that all uh, routers that you download... Because I've tested other routers uh, like PF Sense. Uh, there's actually another one. I can't remember what the brand, the manufacturer of that is off the bat. But I had to pay for it. But they gave you a trial and you could run it for free. And it worked. And I was able to do everything on my own. Whether it was the VPNs or it's the, the VLANs, which is vir virtual local area networks. VPNs are virtual private networks. And... I was able to get it going, but it was like 500 bucks. Well, it was worth the 500 bucks compared to Zero Shell. And it had web filtering, it had all sorts of kind of gems in it that Zero Shell will never come up with. And on top of that, talking about updates, um, what good are the updates? The, the documentation I've been reading is all old. It's back to uh, point one or something like that, or 1.0 or something. I, I'm not sure what the original one was, but there's nothing with 2, 3, or even 3.9 uh, snapshots of zero shots, all old stuff. So that means that nothing has changed since whenever this thing got to be supposedly in existence. And like I said, my feelings before on that, I don't know. It could be ripped off from something else. I don't know. It could Somebody could just piece this, piece that, piece the other thing together and make it look like it was theirs, but they've actually stolen cold from someplace else. I'm not trying to get anybody in trouble, and I'm not, I don't care. But what I'm just saying is I'm just a little bit leery with all the stuff I've been researching out on this. It makes me wonder. So, uh, I hope I have some better news for you when I have the next video, but...
just stop and ask yourself and wonder, what's the safety issues? Um, there may be some safety issues with something like this. I don't know what, because I've always used a firewall uh, in, you know, behind it and in front of it. So I've always had stuff, you know, so it was like a middle, it was like the middle man. Uh, I had one to bring in the internet, it connected it to it, and then Zero Shell was basically another system to branch off to other routers or networks. So I don't know what ha will happen if I uh, fire this thing up in the open with no other protection around it. So I hope you uh, get something from this video and I didn't go overboard or too much with you. Uh, just just think about it before you really get into doing something like this. I mean, if you're like me and you just want to experiment, I mean, go ahead. I mean, I'm not uh, saying not to do it. I mean, it's free for crying out loud. Uh, just don't do the updates. I, they're, they're just as useless as the, the Microsoft stuff. Uh, what I would recommend doing, and this is what I found out from whether it's Microsoft or it's uh, Linux, uh, the first, the operating system is the best. Updates will kill you. And if you got an older version that works just fine, use it. If you got the 3.2, use it. Don't download the 9. I thought, hey, I'm getting something different on the 3.9 versus the 3.2. Bang! Wrong! I don't think so. It's all the same. The only thing is, is that the 3.9 that I got is more of a pain in the ass than the 3.2 because it keeps refreshing and that is really annoying. So, uh, just just be very cautious of, you know, safety. What, what about personal uh, safety for that matter? I mean, who knows? I mean, you know, when you buy a router, you, you're pretty much, you know, going to know that you're going to get a little more safety with that than, than something free. There's Like I've said before, there's always cost to free. So, anyways... Just think about what I have to say and do your research. There's, but like I said, there's a lot of crap out there that doesn't mount to a hill of beans. And you'll be like, if you don't understand at least about the basics of networking, then it's just going to go over your head and you'll be like, what did I just do? What did I read? I don't understand this. I wasted my time. Well, I don't want to waste your time uh, with reading a bunch of garbage. And... I'm not going to waste your time with watching a bunch of garbage from myself. I'm not going to put it up if I don't think it's going to be any useful to anybody. And I've got probably about 10 different videos that I've done so far in this past week. And I ditched them all because it was like, no, nah, that, uh, that wouldn't help. Or I disproved that with another thing I did. And I was like, okay, I might as well just do an update video. And this is what that video is. Just kind of just giving a brief overview of what I've been finding out about this zero shell. So I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you the next time and I hope I got better news for you. But just try it if you want to. But I don't hold any hopes for it. Um, I just, uh, when, when I do get more things going, I'll produce some videos that will help you uh, figure out what you need to do and I'll explain some of the things that I've got because I got a lot of help snapshots back here that will uh, help you uh, to get it set up with just a few easy steps and <laughs> I wouldn't have to put any directions on it really but anyways I'll see you the next time on Pushing Technology Limit and you have a wonderful day